In this video, we're gonna take a look at some interesting modifier setups that use geometry nodes in Blender. These tools are great for speeding up many things in your workflow, whether you are building environments, creating cool effects, or designing complex models. But before we continue, I wanna let you guys know that the Blender market is going over a huge winter sale right now, with 25% off thousands of products from add-ons, modifier setups, courses, and more. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best Blender add-ons out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with procedural stadiums. And as the name suggests, it is great for setting up a stadium from scratch, which can be quite a long process. And this is where this tool comes in. From what I can see, using it within a couple of minutes and with little to no effort, you can generate a fully detailed venue. Whether it is a football field, a basketball arena, ice hockey ring, or a boxing ring. And the best part, the customization is easy and simple. You can just play with some sliders to adjust the number of stands, tweak seat spacing, staircases, VIP sections, tunnels, and even customize the entrance. And if you want to make it unique, just import an image to turn settings into a mosaic and add team logos or patterns onto the stands, which is, I think, a really handy feature. Also, you can add elements like scoreboards, photographers, and security guards to bring the scene to life. And if you need a crowd, it works with procedural crowds, letting you fill the stadium instantly with fans waving flags and wearing their team colors. And if you want to make things even smoother, you can adjust the level of detail and height elements that you don't really need. So if you are interested in something like this, I think this tool is going to be a nice addition to your tool set. Another new tool is called Fit Curve, which lets you tackle smaller tasks fitting your curves properly. So if you've ever struggled with Blender's Curve Deform modifier, you know how frustrating it can be to get objects to align properly. And Fit Curve is here to fix that making curve-based modeling more intuitive and predictable. So instead of dealing with unexpected rotations and awkward transformations, this modifier works in the world space so objects always align correctly. And by the way, this works for a lot of scenarios. If you're wrapping text around the path, shaping meshes along a curve, or creating procedural designs, it can work without the usual trial and error. And of course, you can get full control over a variety of settings like stretch, offset, and rotation, which enables you to fine-tune the placement with ease. In addition, if you need smoother deformation, just adjust the curve subdivision for a cleaner result. Now, with something more interesting, we have Lazy Forest Generator. As you know, creating forests in Blender can be frustrating, with trees looking too uniform or scattered in weird and natural ways. But this generator can fix this that by generating entire complex forests in no time, while keeping them organic and believable. So instead of placing trees one by one, it automatically distributes them with natural clustering and variation, and it is really customizable, offering you control over the density, scale, and randomness, making it easy to create anything from common wooden lands to dense jungles. And the best part, you are not limited to a single tree set because the generator works with any tree assets, so you can swap models to fit your desired scene. And if you need that extra control, you can tweak placements manually without losing the procedural setup. And for anyone working on nature scenes, game environments, or animations, I think this is gonna be a really useful tool. Now, let's talk about making your life easier when making fluids with Universal Water VFX Simulator. We all know that simulating water in Blender usually means long baking times and heavy calculations. But this add-on changes things by keeping everything in real time and responsive. So instead of waiting for hours for fluid simulations to finish, you can get some real-time feedback. And it works for all sorts of effects, whether it is waves crashing, water rippling, or splashes forming on impact. And these effects adjust on the fly and require no baking. And the best thing about the add-on is its built-in physics and collision detection enables water to interact naturally with objects. I mean, as you can see, it makes scenes feel more grounded and realistic. Also, the add-on comes back with preset effects, so you don't have to start from scratch. For example, if you need a fountain, a waterfall, or just subtle ripples, just pick a preset, tweak the settings, and you're ready to go. 
Now let's dive into something more exciting for animators and riggers with Swordmaker. This one is going to be useful to animate sword swings, slashes or even combat scenes, simply because it's going to save you a lot of time. This blender tool is specifically designed for creating sword animations and you can do that with ease as you can see, making the process fast, smooth and to be honest kind of fun. The gist of it is that, instead of manually rigging each swing or cut, Swingmaster comes with pre-built animations that you can easily apply to your swords. And the good thing, you can customize the movement, the speed and the direction of the swings to fit your scene. And the best part is that Swordmaster provides for control over the blade's orientation and trajectory, ensuring that every slash feels natural and fluid. Now, with something entirely different, we're gonna talk about a generator for procedural animations called Geofish. As you know, creating realistic fish models from scratch can be really tedious. But with Geofish, I think it will take all the hard work from the equation with fully procedural fish generation inside the Blender. This geometry node based tool lets you generate, customize and animate fish in just seconds. Basically, it can be used for nature scenes, underwater environments or even stylized aquarium renders. As you can expect, it comes with simple controls to adjust body shape, fin styles, scale patterns and even to add procedural textures making sure that every fish that you can generate is gonna be unique. In addition, it includes pre-made species templates so if you need a quick clownfish, goldfish or something more exotic, you're basically covered. But what makes Geofish stand out is its built-in animation system, which enables you to simulate natural swimming movements, which as you can expect, helps you create something more believable. Now with technical stuff, let's talk about Curve Fail Advanced, which makes working with curves a whole lot easier. So if you have ever tried to fill an intricate curve shape in Blender, you know it can be frustrating, and Curve Fail Advanced eliminates the struggle by automatically generating clean and procedural surfaces from any curve shape. Instead of manually adding geometry or struggling with Blender's default fill options, this tool creates an optimized and quad based surface that follows the flow of your curves and it can do that in a short period of time. Examples that come to mind include working on logos, calligraphy, parametric designs or even organic modeling. In addition, it comes with intuitive settings. Basically, you can control the thickness, add smoothness, in addition to density, ensuring your surface adapts to whatever design you have in mind. Now, let's talk about Bailey Bridge Generator, which as you can expect, is gonna help you build bridges. You see, when it comes to building bridges, especially modular ones, it can take a lot of time and effort. But with this tool, you can create detailed and customizable bridges in a short period of time. Basically, it gives you control over the length, width, panel count and the support types of your bridge, making it good for different projects, whether it be for architectural design or creating military scenes or just some industrial settings. The good thing, I think, is the modular setup, which allows you to easily adjust parts like railings, beams and all the things that can keep the structure intact. In addition, it supports real-world scaling, so whether it is a small bridge or a huge bridge, this can help to make it look believable and realistic. Another interesting tool I want to talk about is called Semi-Realistic VFX. You see, when it comes to scenes, having detailed and high-quality VFX can elevate your work, but traditional simulations can be a drag, so that's where Semi-Realistic VFX steps in. It lets you create detailed effects like smoke, fire, explosions and gunfire in just a short period of time, without the long render times that come with VDB based workflows. And thanks to geometry nodes, you can get instant feedback as you tweak settings, making it much faster than any typical simulation methods. The secret is the preset system. You can easily add cinematic quality effects and the advanced customization gives you control over things like density, scale and animation. The surprising thing is that the entire pack is under 40 megabytes, much smaller than any file pack of VFX assets. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these geometry node generators and these procedural generators, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.